Welcome back, you beautiful people. As many of you know, I love a hardtail. And when the guys in New Proof invited me to their latest video, Scouting About Three, I couldn't have said yes fast enough. So I popped my bike into the car and headed to the Lake District. What is this? COVID test. Always got to stay safe. Look at that. What do you do with it? Uh, use that. Yeah. Stick that up in your nose. Yeah. Whirl that around for about five seconds. Yeah. And then unscrew that. Yeah. Put it in and swirl it around for 30 seconds. And then put it in, drop five drops into the end of that. And then it will come up with a line to say, hopefully you're clear. And if I'm not clear, see ya. See ya later. <laughs> if, if you're not almost throwing up, then you're not doing it properly. And then like round the outside of the nose. Oh, yeah, yeah. Swirly, whirly. Yeah. And then. It's so gooey. Yeah. <laughs> Clear. Oh, that. that is the weapon of pans and zooms from Tommy C. There she is, there she is. Freshy. Everyone, this is Lawrence Crossman Ems. I've worked with this chap for a very long time, years ago. Years ago. Cracking photographer. So what are you doing today? We are here taking some photos of this crazy action that is going to happen. I can only imagine it's going to be quite, quite exciting. It's going to be quite rowdy. I'm quite nervous being with these guys. I would be, yeah. yeah. I've seen these guys doing this. It's quite out there. <laughs> All right, let's go. Well, there's a fly-off, and there's a first landing and a second landing. But I'm going to make them go past both landings because the landing, well, there's about 70 foot of gradient, downslope, I should say. Probably gonna bully Elliot into going further than everyone else. Usually what happens. Tell me, were you happy with the, the, the sends? Splendid. Straight in, proper job. But we'll go second angle down there, so now we can turn it up a little bit more. Huck to flat. Pretty scary not riding a trail before and hitting it for the first time, but following these boys in. Wow. Let's just get out of your comfort zone, dude. <laughs> Go home. Hey, Go change the plan now. We're now doing the cliff drop. <laughs> cliff drop? Red, Red Bull Hardline cliff drop here at Set Murphy. <laughs> this is steep. It you, doesn't, you can't see. But look at that. Look at that. What do you think, Rob? Nah, not on our tail. <laughs> Mate, no, you got that. I, I won't be coming in fast. Yeah, roll that. Yeah, roll that. I'm not going fast down. Look at it. Look how steep it is. Not even, it's up there. Uh, as Brayton calls it, the cliff drop into this big, this big turn. Well, I say big, there's not much support. And then into a left, a right left, sorry. And it's flat out. It's intimidating, but it's actually fun because we are chilling, kind of went chilling at the top, talking about lines and stuff like that, but dude, it's scary, right? Because I feel like I need to go fast to keep up with them, and I have to, you have to, so you... <sighs> on the limit, on the pipe, I feel like I'm on the pipe on a hardtail, and I'm running flats, and I always run clips, but today I'm running flats. Now we've got two hucks to flat. Damn it!
Blake got the. Blake was like, you know, when he's doing a little foot jab, foot dab <laughs> on the landing of a 30 foot single to flat on a hardtail. It, well, we'll call it a stamp. We'll call it a stamp. <laughs> a stamp on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Good effort, mate. I was impressed. Very you impressed. have it on me. No. That was horrible. Oh, you oh, messed you what? Come on, Tom. I don't think I want to do the foot jab again. Have you seen these ankles, mate? That was quite smooth, wasn't it? That was very smooth, Thank but you. very far. Thank you. Right, let's see if the boys can beat it. That last one hurt, I'm not gonna lie. It felt like it could have been a proper leg breaker. Now it's time to grab some photos and have some lunch. Uh, just taking some photos of Blake's bike. Looks pretty cool in front of this log stack here. Uh, yeah, just doing a nice little bike check. Everyone loves to see the uh, the scouts, or uh, someone's called them hyper scouts. So they <laughs> looking pretty good. Nah, looks nice. So we munched on a few wraps, chatted some rubbish, and enjoyed a bit of sun. Right, we're all fueled up, had some lunch. We're gonna go back up, we're gonna go write some other stuff, some rooty, gnarly, rough stuff. Hopefully none of that gas to flat stuff that Adam likes, because them two jumps, ah, oh, man. I've actually reverted to clips, because my feet were bouncing off because of those horrible, heavy impacts on a hardtail. A little bit of a jump here. Uh, hopefully they'll throw a little bit of a shape off of it. Uh, a little bit of turn bar or something. Should look quite nice. Uh, we got the the one the Canon 1D here with the 7200 on it. Uh, good to get nice long shot at 7200. Get nice compression with the shot. Bit of uh, bit of depth of field. Bit of blue background. Should look quite nice hopefully. Yeah, <laughs> Blake's got some good style here though. Blake always brings the heat. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't Blake. He, he ran out of uh, style tokens at home. Needs to needs to get some more, <laughs> I think. <laughs> you swap lenses, Lawrence. Oh, swap lenses onto the uh, little 50 mil. Lovely. It's quite nice. You can get a um, really nice shallow depth of field, which means that really nice blurry background that you get picks out the riders when they're in focus. Uh, Couple of routes when they're taking that high line, they're coming over that top route. Push the bike out as they come over this last route. Nice bit of body English. Hopefully, should look quite nice. Whoa! How was that, Lawrence? Nice. Catching a little bit Bloody of hours. pocket of light there as well. Nice and sharp as well. Oh. Perfect. You can see the terror in his eyes as he's bashing over those routes. I think if there was a camera on me, I think I'd be, I'd have terror in my eyes. It's not all rock and roll. Well, old Robbo down there, he's, he's slightly twisted his ankle a little bit, just a little bit. But it just goes to show, when you push in, oh, yeah. bite you in the ass. We carried Robert down to the road where the ambulance could pick him up. His shoot was over, and so with it was day one. We're at another location, this is day two, undisclosed. And the weather's actually all right. I said yesterday it would be terrible. 
But we've got one, two, three kickers to nowhere. With a big hill behind us, and that's uh, that's. This you should what have you seen that? <laughs> Look at it. It's an abundance of a of a run up, with three kickers: hip, straight jump, and a big jump. I think that's a blind summit. I think we have to go from over the what top. What we of that. do is tuck, then hook. Come on. Uh, for the first attempt, it's not bad. Uh, wind's good so far, so we'll start pushing now for new world record hard tail long jump. I, that, did that look quite far? Yes, that was I felt like I was in the air for a while. <laughs> Like anything, Jack. First hits are the worst, man. But it's actually all right. It's a big floater. You can go massive. Hey, Mr. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Brayton's landed there, but on a downhill bike, not on a hardtail. Oh man, it's actually. Woo. Who needs coffee when you can hit that? <laughs> yeah. Elliot knows the deal here. I think Brayton's going really high. He just needs to get the distance. But I, I think Elliot's Elliot's always got. Well, he just wants to crack on in front of the boys, doesn't he? So he'll just send it regardless. It's all right to be fair. A little scope taking a beating. Um, it's probably harder than I am, to be honest, by quite a long way. Being a bit of a, you know, bit bit soft, I think. Gonna have to pedal a couple more times and see if Blake is going to do a backflip over the 50 footer. Do you reckon you got it? I reckon you've got it. Not yet, maybe in a minute. All right, I'll do this then. <laughs> now, it looks like I'm just going in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Facial improvements, I love it. You made me pull up. Yeah, that's the idea. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's a big ball like other did it for me. <laughs> 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 Come on, Grandad. <laughs> you've still got some flexibility in them old legs, I tell thee. Give me some. Super Gramps coming oh in. Oh my god. Oh, here he oh comes. my god. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. right. Stupidest thing I've ever done. Very silly, very silly. <laughs> Scary. You look up from up there and you just look like you're going to run over them. I don't know who the biggest fool is, me or them. Long jump. It? Successful, very successful. Started started big and then Pie Man over here decided to stand underneath. Then joined with Blake. And we thought he was kind of maybe gonna clear them, but he was way, way above them. Did a big old pencil peat, slapped her down. I don't know what's probably did. 35 foot over the reds, so. And that's height. <laughs> What's next? What is next? Uh, we Blake's got this steeper booter here, like just uh, like pretty, just as big of a run in, a, a harsher compression, and then a steeper lip. And you've probably got to do a 25 foot into the knuckle, and then the knuckle drops away, and it's like soft bracken. So it'd be nice to land into, and God forbid if you come off, it's going to be nice to probably roll down the hill in. Uh, so we got to do a bit of slapping on the lip, get it going and we're good to go. This next jump took a bit more courage to hit. We were jumping to the deck just to work out the speed. Um, yeah, a little Robbo Zankles died yesterday. Um, yeah, they were very skinny and we often mocked him for this, which I feel greatly, really bad for. But yeah, his ankle um, twisted a full 1080 yesterday which is like a really good skateboard trick, um, but not for your ankle, but yeah. No, he's, uh, he's in the hospital, he's having an operation this morning. Hopefully he'll be all right. Um, and he'll be, hopefully he'll be back with us by the end of the day, maybe. Um, I've just got the wide angle on. Just gonna go really wide and hopefully when they get, get the kick off of the lip, they'll silhouette nicely against the sky and get almost a bit of a tickle of those mountains over there, a bit of foreground as well. It should, oh, be, um, should be a really nice wide <laughs> shot with uh, with some pretty sick action in it. <laughs> That's it. 
Adam's just had a go then and he's not, I wouldn't even say like halfway to the lip, but yes, already like, I don't know, 10 foot up off the ground, I guess, on the, on the middle of the deck. So I reckon if they're gonna try and make that down slope, they're gonna have to get really high. <laughs> Blake's getting egged on to flip it as well. And uh, I don't know, I'm not sure if he's quietly confident or or secretly oh, yeah. scared yeah, about it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a pretty big flip. <laughs> yeah, Elliot's just had a pretty good attempt. He pretty much made the backside. Had a huge double bounce on the on the landing. <laughs> but you can just see already on the shot that he's uh, yeah, pretty front heavy. And I reckon, yeah, with Blake standing next to him there, he looks a pretty solid, almost 12, 15 foot off the ground. <laughs> yeah, they're getting there, they're getting there. Horrible, my seat really hurt my ass, and I don't know how, but yeah, enjoyed that. Do you think you could go further? Yeah. The real Tommy seat, yeah. I see Elliot to them. <laughs> oh. That was a big one. He went to the moon oh, there, actually. <laughs> Fair play, because he's been pushing it a little bit, little bit, little bit, and now he's just gone. See you later. <laughs> I thought I took a few run-ins. I didn't want to keep casing it. It's a horrible case. I thought I'd just go far-ish. I don't know how far I went, but hell, that was a landing. <laughs> yeah, hard. You know, I've been training with Fit for Racing all, all winter, all off season. We've been training for this, me and Grandad, for this long jump. It's not about the UCI races, it's not about the EWS, it's about the long jump, innit, Grandad? Absolutely, you know, we're squatting, tears streaming down our face. Crying, throwing up. No fish will pull me in this season. So, it's all about who can jump the furthest. Who won? Who went the furthest? We don't know. L. I don't know. L giving me butterflies. Yeah. Oh, that's I don't know if that's cute. good or bad. <laughs> oh my god. I say no justice god. is served. If no. there was a canyon Mate, in the middle, I would have been. I did a squirm on the takeoff, I was like, I'm not going again. <laughs> I was like, do you want me to go? Or are you going? I was and like, then he's oh, like and then he pedalled in, I'm like, fuck what are you doing? Yeah, what are you four doing? pedal strokes in. I'd rather like over jump and then <laughs> <laughs> freaking okay. case. That was so But you know it's gnarly when you're when I'm saying to you when you're over the crest and you're oh, still in the air. That's when it gets you. Yeah, that's cool. I was like, yeah, I'm going home. <laughs> Alright, thanks everyone. See you later. See you Let's go hit some limes. So we just finished filming on this hill here, or mountain. It's pretty, pretty sizable. Been up the top shooting jumps, loads of long turns further down, lots of tire burping, bit of pressure police on the phone. <laughs> um, we just got down, now we're gonna have some lunch, and then do some gaps at a pump track, and then maybe a lake jump. See how much we can fit in. Stop number three, we're in a car park. Lawrence Crossman M's, aka the, the raddest photographer ever, made us a coffee and some tea. But we're here because of that pump track behind us. It started to rain a little bit, but that's fine because there's sun over there and there's some over there. And it looks like it's coming here. I hope. But we had to hit a pump track. So the absolute Keswick, Keswick Velodrome. Oh man, that's a lot of For jump life. bikes. Oh. Jump bike Velodrome. We're just going to weigh up. This fence got them, my little brother's done. Oh. Oh. A bit nerve wracking, I thought I was going to see my southern style chicken wrap again. Do you reckon Brayton's got it? It wasn't actually that difficult, I just made a mess of it. <laughs> You've got to jump over a fence. He doesn't, you can't see it when you're going fast. I think I'm just gonna go as far 
Blake possible. has actually already done this. We're just doing a clip after. <laughs> I'm not joking. It's insane. It's insane. The biggest move of the trip. Yeah. Highest consequence. See that building there? That is Keswick A and E. So we, we, they've got a secret escalator under here that whips you into the bump track ward, and you're yeah, brand new in two minutes. Nozzle heavy. Oh, yeah. How not to do it? Okay. Come to pump track. We nailed it. Got the jump over the fence. Well, I kind of. But now we're going to the lake. But not to chill. To get chilled, man. I think we're going in. I think we're going. I think we're going in, in. Got your arm, this is stupid. Oh. <laughs> I forgot my armbands. You got your armbands? Have you not got any fuel? Maybe? About speedos. Oh, God, this is going to be a bit. Oh, be all right. You ready? Yeah, you got it. You can't see me, mate. Right? Oh, yeah, well. Cold or warm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, no. Trying to save me. <laughs> I, I slid off the end. That was. Well, I ran in after Adam, trying to be some kind of bloody David Hasselhoff thing, and I, I got to the end where we got Blake out before it was piss wet through, and I didn't think wet wood was going to be slippy, so I was going to jump in and do like a dead salmon flying through the air thing and just instead just went completely the opposite way and just went solid on my back. So my back's now red hot from my back slap. Everything else is freezing and now it's raining. Oh, how's that look? That's cold. And now, now for a six hour drive home. That was such a good, that's behind the scenes of what it takes to make an edit. And it's, it's all fun and games. But it's serious, we get injuries if you're not careful. Poor old Robbo, healing vibes to a man. Give him some love, give him some love. Cold, cold. Anyway, if you love this sort of thing, give us a thumbs up, like, and I'll see you at the next one. I'm gonna get warm.